Nate Archibald at the free throw line. He is the best free throw shooter on the Kansas City team, but not then. So far, the Kings have been shut out. They're down 5 0. So it's a 5 1 game. Kansas City trailing the Chicago Bulls. Van Leer brings the ball up court. Picked up by Nate Archibald as he crosses the timeline. They go inside to Borwinkle. Weak side pass to Jerry Sloan. And Sloan lays it in. We were mentioning earlier, Jerry, what an excellent pass for Borwinkle is for a big man. And he assisted there as the Bulls go out in front 7 1. Wedman almost missed it all. Rebound to Love. Bulls are running. Van Leer takes it down the middle, pumps it out to Jerry Sloan. Way too much on it. Sam Lacey takes it down. At 6'10, he leads the break. Goes to Walker. Jerry Sloan goes down hard. Here is Nate Archibald getting inside, putting it up. Doesn't get it. Four wickets to the door. Chicago coming out running. Three on two break. Walker takes it inside and lays it in. The basket is disallowed. It's no good. Foul on Chet Walker. Well, in that particular play, Chet Walker has the ball. He's 101 against Larry McNeil. Drives the baseline. There's a rookie, Scott Webman, in good defensive position. The Walker jumps back and into McNeil. Good call by the official. Sam Lacey comes out high. One hands the ball against Borwinkle, who shuts him off, getting the position in the lane. Outside of Jimmy Walker, Scott Wetman from 20 feet out doesn't get the roll. And again, Chicago takes down the defensive board and starts to run. Here comes Van Leer. Now the Bulls go into an offensive set, and Van Leer looks to call a play. Bob Love against Larry McNeil outside the Borwinkle. They bring the big man out. That takes Lacey away from the boards. Lacey slaps it away and out hustles everybody to the ball. And we have a whistle from Richie Powers. Foul call on Van Leer. Nick Mata, the Chicago coach in the background, exchanging words with the official Bob Rakel. One thing the Chicago can't afford to have, like they did in the Kansas City the other night, they had both their starting guards out of the ball game in the fourth quarter. Sloan was ejected, and of course, Van Leer fouled out of the ball game. Nate Archibald puts it way up. Jerry Sloan takes down the rebound. Kansas City cold, cold here in the first quarter. Van Leer drives the lane nicely and arcs it up. Not quite enough out of it. Larry McNeil takes down the board for Kansas City up court to Jimmy Walker. They run with Webman on the left flank, and Walker looks to go inside. Now Walker puts it up from the foul line. And the first field goal of the game is up for Kansas City. Jerry? Jimmy Walker's had great success so far in this series. Jerry Sloan normally plays him very well, but Sloan's been to some foul problem, and of course, he was kicked out of the ball game the other night. He had a big fourth quarter. Borwinkle feeds off to a cutting Chet Walker. The basket goes, and Chet Walker was fouled on the play. So the veteran from Bradley, Chet Walker, in his 13th NBA season, goes to the free throw line. Okay, we take a look at this play again, and again, it's just a simple reverse. Looks like they're trying to overplay Walker and Love inside. Chicago scored three times on this play so far. Chicago's one of the teams in the league that they see you make a mistake enough, they're going to take advantage of it. A very, very well-coached team, a very bright team, and uh, a lot of it is attributed, of course, to Dick Mott, their coach. Chet Walker now has six points for the Chicago Bulls. They have ten. They lead by seven. Nate Archibald dances inside and wings it out to Larry McNeil with no shot. Chicago defense moving well. Lacey, 18 feet out. And again, the Bulls are on position on the defensive board. Sloan brings it up court to Chet Walker. Now Ollie Johnson's in the game for Kansas City against Walker. Whitman couldn't handle it early, and Chet Walker is ripping it up early in the game. Chester Walker has already scored eight points as the Chicago Bulls have moved out to an early 12-3 lead, and Phil Johnson wants to talk it over with his king. This is one of the best-known symbols in America, but not every American knows what it is. STP oil treatment mixes with the oil in your car and helps protect your engine from friction and wear better than the oil without STP. You add it to the crankcase when the oil is changed and the first time your oil is down. STP oil treatment. It helps your oil do a better job. Take a look at Ben. Where? What's he saying? 
got you the best name in the business. When you have to get the beer, get the one named after Milwaukee, the city that means beer. Hey, old Milwaukee! Oh, ah. Old Milwaukee beer tastes as great as its name. What's he saying now? Old Milwaukee beer tastes as great as its name. On Tuesday night of this week, the NBA on CBS will bring you Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Playoff Series between the defending champion Boston Celtics and the Houston Rockets. Perhaps you were with us here on CBS yesterday when that young Houston club came back strong and beat the Celtics, but Boston, featuring four NBA All-Stars, is still up two games to one. It's the Celtics versus Houston, Tuesday night at 9 o'clock Eastern, 8 Central, 6 Pacific time, here on CBS. Right now, we have Kansas City, Omaha, and the Chicago Bulls. Chicago with a 12-3 lead. Kansas City just hasn't had the shots early as B. Hagan's in the game. He gets the ball from Lacey and puts it up. And an offensive foul call goes against Ron B. Hagan. You'll see, you'll, see, you'll see Jerry Sloan again. Just switch off on this play. B. Hagan goes up. And uh, again, I don't think that was a foul. Sloan just really faked on that play. Well, we now have two team fouls on each club. The Bulls in command, 12-3. Here is Bob Love, left free for a shot, and the rebound is swept down by Lacey. Looks for the outlet man. The Bulls cover the planks, and they go up to Archibald. Ali Johnson gets it inside to Walker. Ball slapped away by Chet Walker and picked up by Sloan. And out of bounds it goes off the foot of the Kansas City Omaha King. You know, one thing I've noticed about Chicago early in this ballgame, they're really running the ball down the floor very quickly. It's not normal Chicago, a Chicago pattern to do that, but they've had good success with it so far. Right for the ball, he might have a jump. Ten men out there, one basketball, and they all want it. Seems like everyone wants it today, and as this ball game goes on today, you're going to see a lot of that. A lot of players on the floor. This game is going to be some great basketball game. Well, we had a great one earlier at Landover, Maryland, as the Washington Bullets took a three games to two lead over Buffalo. Norm Van Leer puts it inside, almost took an extra step into Chet Walker. And the ball will again come inbound to the Chicago Bulls, so they're getting that second and third shot. Well, that goes to show you that they're really ready to play this game. I walked in the locker room before the ball game. A lot of silent people went there today. Pretty good indication they're ready. That's right. Again, we have a whistle. Good try, good try. In the course of a normal NBA game, an official will blow his whistle, not necessarily on a foul every time. 60 to 65 times. They must get up near 85, 90 times in the playoff. Well, with the with everything at stake, and particularly this ball game today, uh, the officials are going to do a good job, I think, trying to keep this ball game in order early in the game. Ron B. Hagen gets another foul. He was elbowing, trying to pick off for Nate Archibald, who was going by. Now Wedman's going to come back in the game for Kansas City. We have 6-11 to play in the first quarter. The Chicago Bulls are in the lead, 12-3. Chet Walker goes to Borwinkle down low against Lacey. Borwinkle working, holds the ball, and hooks it up on Lacey, but the roll comes down to Ron B. Hagen. Up court to Jimmy Walker. Kansas City is going to be looking to run for four quarters. Ali Johnson left free. And now the Kings come back to it in five. It's 12-5. 5.47 to go in the first quarter. Very enthusiastic Chicago following that's exhorted by this organ player. Home court means a lot this series. All the home teams have won. Feed off to Bob Love, who gets it off glass. And it's a now, four points for Bob Love and a 14 to 5 game. Another foul. Ollie Johnson of Kansas City. It's unbelievable. These fouls are all good. They're contact. They're calling it. That's right. The officials again are going to try to reach store order in this ball game. On well, the last play down the floor, Jerry Sloan made a very, very fine play to get the ball inside to Bob Love. And if Chicago is able to penetrate the way they've done so far, they're going to have good success against Kansas City's defense. Matt Gukas is now in the game for Kansas City. Both coaches going to the bench early. Bob Love puts it up on Wedman. That high arcing shot with little spin on the ball. Rebound down to Lacey up court to Archibald. He's shut off at the top of the lane by Norm Van Leer. 
Lacey down low against Borwinkle. Lacey, one of the better outside shooting big men in the league, off the foot of Tom Borwinkle. And the ball comes inbounds to Kansas City. The defense of both these teams is really unbelievable. They're grabbing, holding, shoving, pushing. And a warning issue here. Bob Love and Ollie Johnson shoving each other around pretty good. There's going to be a lot of very, very high feelings out here in this ball game today, and it wouldn't surprise me if we see a little extracurricular activity. Down low to Wedman. There's the possibility of trying to break a loose any time. These teams, they very openly don't like each other. And strictly five products of the competitors in the same division. They've been fighting it out all year. Here's a lead pass up court to Archibald. Look at him go by Love. Take it inside. There's a foul call to go against Love. Bob Love had no choice. It was a good foul to give because Archibald would have been in for a layup. As it is, it's a one-shot foul. It's an out-of-bounds for both of the women. Fourth team foul against the Chicago Bulls. One more, and the penalty goes in effect for Kansas City. <laughs> Nate Archibald on the outside. Ali Johnson comes out. Archibald pumps it up. Arabs off to Tom Borwinkle and Norm Van Leer. Chicago with a control break. They're bringing the ball up court quickly. Giving them more time to work their plays against the shot clock down court. The faster they get it up. Here's Chet Walker on the drive. Rebound swept down again by Lacey. Mike D'Antoni in the game. Lead pass inside to Archibald to Lacey. Then Johnson who's free. And again, Kansas City can't find the range. Not Kansas City is primarily a perimeter shooting team with the exception of Archibald. And they look for Archibald to penetrate and pitch out to these men and get, make a lot of good shots for them. So far, Archibald hasn't been able to penetrate against Chicago's defense. Norm Van Leer now on a switch off is picked up by Wedman. Van Leer takes it right through with superior quickness against the 6-7 Wedman, but can't get the shot. And again, the Kings will put the ball in bounds. They have but five points with 3.46 to go in the first quarter. Chicago leading 14 to 5. That says a lot for Chicago's defense early in this ball game. Now, if you watch him, every time Archibald gets the ball and he goes to his corner, everyone seems to overplay to that corner, try to prevent him from getting the basketball back. Nate Archibald, great feed off to Ollie Johnson. If anyone ever goes watch a lot of NBA basketball and watch this little man play, here is the most exciting player in the NBA, in my opinion. This guy's a sensational player. He's very unselfish, and he's going to be a super player for a long time. Pretty good compliment. I think he's just a tremendous player. Very unselfish. That's what I like about him also. Well, that's what his game is keyed around, handing off those assists. That's what Chicago says they've got to stop him from doing. They'll let him shoot from the outside, but they can't let him get inside and feed off like that. Well, if they, can make, uh, Kansas, if they can make Kansas City shoot outside and Kansas City doesn't shoot well, of course, they've got a great chance, but to stop Ar Archibald from penetrating something else. Now we're going to have the floor dusted off a little bit. And the game for Chicago and ready to jump is Tom Borwinkle against Sam Lacey. And they'll jump it up again, both men going up early. Almost tipped it in. Playing volleyball, Lacey comes off with it. Up court to Mike D'Antoni. Ollie Johnson against Bob Love. Here is Lacey coming out high. A lot of motion underneath. The guards going in and out. D'Antoni comes around, can't get the shot. And the ball will come inbound to Kansas City. Hey, these Chicago fans protest everything goes against their bulls, huh? Well, I think a lot of the players, when they complain, many times the fans will pick that up. Right now, we have 2.47 left to go in the first quarter. The Bulls in the lead, 14 to 7. Hey, Schick takes the stick out. Schick takes the stick out. Schick takes the stick out of shaving with smoother, close-shaving, Teflon-coated blades. Look, a straight razor has no Teflon, so it can stick before cutting. But Schick Injector with Teflon cuts cleaner with 39% less pull. Schick Injector with exclusive Teflon. Now on Injector Twin Blades, too. Schick takes the stick out. For smoother, close shaves. Ford announces a no-nonsense $250 off the sticker price on not just any new car, but America's best-selling newcomer, Ford Granada.